cows are vegetarian, sheep are vegetarian. I eat both of them, that makes me a vegetarian, doesn't it? So if I eat you, that would make me a vegetarian? No, that's cannibal, that's a different thing. Why is it different? Is it bad to eat people? Right. Is it bad to cause pain you, to people? You probably do. Yeah. Is it bad to cause pain to people? Go get a brain transplant, mate. Is it bad to cause pain to people? Grass and people are the same now, so can cause pain to grass and people, it's exactly the same. But also, wait, tell, if the cops come, yeah. I'll wait for them and I'll we'll come over and talk to them about that because I'm just curious. Yeah, you can. You can as far as I knew, if, if it's a no, cop you can you can do whatever you like, but I, it's my job just to explain uh, to you. Uh, you're only you doing your should, job. Yeah, and I'm, I'm challenging it because that's, I want to do my no, job No, that's too. fine. That's cool. When the cops come over and talk to them as well, because uh, I just you want can to make do sure. Whatever you like. If, if I'm going to be arrested, you're smart because you should have checked before you came on site. I'm not insulting you, am I? I don't care. I didn't insult you. I don't care. Yeah. So why are you insulting me? I can do whatever I like. I can say whatever I like. I'm just wondering why you're not keeping the respect. I, I can say, I can say yeah. whatever I want. Yeah. So basically this is a public space but we can't film here because it's run by the government. government. Because you should side. know that. But if it's a cop shop I'm allowed to film there. You, you should know that. Ask the cops about the cop shop. I don't know about the cop shop. Like yeah. so. And I've been, I was just wondering if it's a public space why we're not allowed to film here. So it's not a public space. Yeah. 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 I don't want to have a go. Yeah. No, I was just saying, he told me it was a public space and we're not allowed no, to No, I didn't say that. I said, under, under, under commercial, right. if you want to shoot commercially, you have to have, have a wise cost. Okay. He said it was a public yeah. space okay. and so, then he said, I can't film here. That's why I got my, right. that's why I got my wise cost. Okay. Yeah. Alright, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. So for any, yeah. Yeah. So so for any commercial or financial yeah. 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 We're not making fun of everybody. Welcome to the Gadigal Land. We're here on the Gadigal all right, so here we are back home in Australia out the front of Sydney Harbour Bridge in the Opera House behind us. Got a little bit of a kerfuffle before we even started here with the police and the security guards there about filming. Like, because some people will tell me not to film all the time and they don't know what they're talking about. Like in the UK, you can film public servants, you have to. You like, you... What group are you now? Are you, are you... I work independently. So I make a positive difference, you know, that's it. Yeah. Okay. So, no worries, appreciate your time, guys. Yeah, and they're probably going to come back in a second when uh, we go in, walk around and show people footage while they're uh, eating seafood. They seem nice though, but it seemed like they were trying to get information out of me to find out what groups I'm with, what activist groups I'm with, just trying to get intel on activists because uh, I guess that's what police kind of do, don't they? They just... But now we are ready seeing as we watched uh, Seaspiracy, very powerful documentary, we're ready to actually take that inspiration and go up the coast of Australia and campaign for the forgotten victims, the sea animals. So I think we don't have much time to spare, so what we're going to do is just get straight into it. Thanks, Taz. <laughs> All right, so we've got this little contraption that we made in the hotel. So we're showing what we've got in here is we've got many of the practices of the uh, sort of factory fish farming industry and also the commercial fishing industry, some of the horrible things that happen to sea animals. And a lot of people don't realize that sea animals are self-aware sentient beings who feel pain and suffer, yet we treat them like pieces of trash, like objects just to be thrown onto the boat deck and gutted and scaled, sometimes while still alive, just horrible suffering. So we're gonna walk around and uh, show some people, see what they think about it. See if they'll boycott seafood or marine animals, really. Let's do it. Fish feel pain. They do. Fish feel pain, bro. Fish feel pain. Suffering. Suffering animals. Do you think they feel pain? Fish can't feel pain? No? It's all around the world. All around the world. Out of here? Yeah. Well. Australians eat fish from all over the world, don't they? 
Fish feel pain? Hey? You don't always eat fish? Well, when you do, you cause extreme amounts of suffering to the, uh, the animals, don't you? Yeah, that's true. See what murdered animals they're selling here today? Yeah, they got all the animals here. Seafood. See how they call them seafood? They're actually sentient animals. Land animals. Marine animals. This is the wharf. This is wharf two. And that water there belongs to the marine animals, but humans like to tear them out of there and murder them. Great job. Fish feel pain, brother? Yeah, yeah. Must be a fellow non-fish abuser. Prefers to not abuse the fish and the other animals. My kind of guy. Sanctuary, so I've posted that. Thank you so much. You run a cow sanctuary for calf? Oh, sanctuary. oh really? Yeah, I save all the bull calves. I do, from yeah. the dairy industry. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thanks for your work. No, I appreciate I, it. I appreciate it. I love them. They're so beautiful. Oh, great. Yeah, thank you so much, Lou. No worries. She rescues bull calves from the dairy industry. What a lovely, lovely lady. This horrible machine sucks the fish out of the ocean and just scales them and guts them while they're still fully conscious. It's a horrible thing, horrible stuff on here. They're ripping these uh, lobsters and crabs apart while they're fully conscious. Sickening. Thanks brother, thank you very much. Thanks guys. Do they? Do you think they do? Of course. Of course they do? You must not eat them then. Fishies feel pain. And they suffer. We shouldn't be eating them. What is this? Yeah. Oh, I'll show you. We're just uh, showing people what happens to fish. It's a great idea having a TV as well. Like yeah, yeah, so we can... Uh... Oh, the light's not on. It's because... Uh... Yeah, but basically, just uh, you know what happens to fish. They get dragged out the ocean, hooked in the face, yeah. gutted while they're still alive. They're still not very nice, is it? Yeah. yeah. Do you think they feel pain, fish? Yes. Yeah. You would be opposed to causing them pain and suffering? Yes. Do you eat fish? No. You don't eat any animals? No. Ah, oh, so you're a vegan? Yeah, more or less. Yeah. More or less. Do you know what, well, a vegan is someone who's opposed to animal exploitation and abuse, violence and that. That's all a vegan is. It's more like a philosophy. Hey, my brother. I'm not your brother. Why, why not? No? You don't believe fish feel pain? Well, so they good grass, they try and... Sorry, bro? Grass are trees. So grass they, feels they, pain? Yeah, and so the trees. So, so do, in other words, uh, everybody should eat nothing. So, no, I'm saying we shouldn't eat animals that obviously feel pain and grass doesn't. I'm a vegetarian. Cows are vegetarian, sheep are vegetarian. I eat both of them. That makes me a vegetarian, doesn't it? So if I eat you, that would make me a vegetarian? No, cannibal. That's a different thing. Why is it different? Is it bad to eat people? Is it bad to cause pain to people? You probably do. Is it bad to cause pain to people? Go get a brain transplant, mate. Is it bad to cause pain to people? But is it the same to cause pain to a person as it is to cause pain to grass? Well, they're all the same. Grass and people, we're the same. Grass and people are the same now, so can cause pain to grass and people, it's exactly the same. But anyways, uh, they, they cut the testicles out of a catfish while they're still alive and then they spread the semen into like the eggs that they squeeze out of the female. They do this in fish farms, like artificial insemination. Yeah, fish farms are atrocious. Yeah. Well, 50% of the fish people eat come from fish farms. Sun's in your eyes. Sun, mate. I thought you were winking at me, mate, yeah. and I was, thought I was like, I was pretty happy with that, eh? <laughs> but most of the plastic in the ocean is fishing nets, discarded fishing nets. Yeah, it's disgusting. No, you appreciate the support, mate. I'm with you. 100%. Yeah. It's also wild fishing is awful as well. Yeah. Wild fishing is probably worse in terms of the amount of suffering it causes because yeah. they use the trawling nets and the bycatch, all the dolphins, seals, turtles sharks, whales that are killed in the fishing nets as bycatch. Um, so th something like three trillion animals are ripped out of the earth. Uh, one in three trillion are ripped out of the ocean. Yeah. In comparison, about 70 billion land animals are killed every year. So that's a lot, a lot of chickens and cows and pigs, but the suffering we cause in the oceans just outnumbers any suffering we cause that have caused ever. I just don't know what to do though, you know, like how can you actually be proactive, like... 
Well, you, well uh, there's many ways to campaign. You, what, what you want to try to do is create a social change. So yeah. you, you obviously stop contributing to the industries. You make that commitment. And then you be an activist or an advocate and you try to educate people and help them make the same connection. Or you do other types of activism which try to change laws or help animals on the ground, direct action. There's heaps of different ways to make an, a difference. Um, social media is a fantastic way, re reaching more people than just talking to one person. You can talk to multiple, making videos. Um, but, uh, we need more people trying to end the suffering because there's so much of it. People, a lot of humans focus on other humans, which yeah. is good. We need that. A lot of humans aren't being helped. But uh, not many people focus on these, the animals, especially sea animals. They just see them as swimming vegetables that yeah. because they can't, they have no expression on their face. You know, they're not like it's a mammal. They're hard yeah. to relate to them. They still suffer. They suffer in silence. Yeah. Yeah. Trillions of them. You know, something like five million a minute are murdered. Five million sea animals a minute. That's a holocaust every minute. Right. Bless you, my brother. Take care, mate. No worries. Fish feel pain, so we shouldn't cause it to them, should we? Oh, I like. You like eating fish? Yeah. You don't like causing them pain, though, do you? And suffering. Jesus liked eating fish, too. How do you know? <laughs> How do you know he didn't eat vegan fish? He was Jesus, he wouldn't cause any suffering. If it was Jesus, he'd be eating lamb yong. What's that, my brother? Fish are friends, not food. They are. How did you know, where'd you hear that from, mate? Nemo. Nemo? Hi, that's a vegan. That's a vegan movie. Fish are friends, not food. Is that really from Nemo, that line? Okay, we'll play the clip now. Fish are friends, not food. The guy who said humans and grass are the same, or animals and grass are the same. And he, he told me I need to get my brain transplanted. Maybe I could transplant my brain with the brain of a blade of grass, seeing as they're sentient beings. Do you eat fish, mate? We're teaching people that fish actually feel pain and don't want to die. I don't understand, sorry. You don't understand English? English? You know pain? Suffering? You know when you stab someone, they have pain? Yeah. Yeah, fish. Uh, yeah, yeah. They have pain. Yeah, yeah. So we don't want to eat them. So you eat the... Uh... You're eating, you'll cause uh, pain to the fish. Yeah, no good. No good? No. No, no, no. Where are you from? Italy? Italy, yeah. Italy. Uh, vegano. You know vegano plants are... Vegano? Vegano, yeah. Vegano. Ah, you're vegano. Vegano. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Before me, Sam. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, you can make pasta and without any carne. No carne. Yeah, no carne, no pesce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No Easy. Fish, no carne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, fromage? No fromage. You can have vegan, um, you can get uh, vegan fromage made, yeah. yeah. Better, just too much suffering and pain, too much violence, too much. Vegano's better. Peace brother, see you later. You know, that was a little bit of my Italian skills, very pathetic for an actual half Italian boy. Um, I know one word, vegano. <laughs> Oh, did you? Did you cut the, the eggs out of them? And they inseminate the yeah, eggs? Yeah. Oh, it's crazy, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because I don't need to be with your life like you started to do. Well, you, you abuse animals through your lifestyle. That's all. I want to tell you, you abuse animals through your lifestyle.